Hey guys, it's Alan, and today I'm freaking out. So today is January 9th, 2017, and we are three-fifths the way through an email newsletter drop. So I've paid for five emails for us to be advertising in, and uh, into this newsletter, and I'm checking the results, checking the results, checking the results. Finally, the third one went out today. I'm checking the results. A dud. And I am losing my mind. I'm having anxiety over this because we spent a lot of money on this already. And we are not going to see the return. And I feel like I let the team down. I feel like um, Catherine is going to... Uh, one, be pissed. Two, uh, if I come to her with other marketing ideas or strategies or recommendations, now everything that I say is going to be questioned, and that's the last thing I want. And, and I don't like this. I don't like this feeling at all. And even more so, I think I don't like it because last year, we started the business with $9,000 worth of advertising money on January 1st. And that's all we had to start the business. And I wanted to spend $10,000 on the same exact campaign. And I opted not to do it and actually just focus on Facebook advertising because I, I knew how to do it and I can control it. So I said, we'll table this and we'll revisit next year. Well, next year is here. Now we spent $30,000 and we're lucky if we've made $1,000 on this campaign so far. Um, and I'm just so thankful that we didn't launch the business with this method and this model because we wouldn't be here today. And, uh, and it just sucks. So I'm going to use this as a learning experience for newsletter drops and if you're going to advertise with someone else's newsletter um, I recommend you test the audience you test the clicks test the conversion um, start small and then also see if there's what guarantees there are and also if there's a back out clause because right now I would probably be seeing better results if I spent the same money on a billboard in the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, it's discouraging. So hopefully this does not affect how my team thinks of my decisions. Hopefully it doesn't affect how Catherine perceives me as her business partner. Um, and I think that's what I'm most upset about. That I made a bad decision and uh, and now everyone and myself, I'm going to have to pay the prices for this. I don't know what that price is. Right now it's $30,000, uh, but what does that mean for my relationship with everyone that I surround myself with? So I hope none of you make this decision. If you have made this decision uh, or one of these type of poor decisions in the past, comment below, and share this video with someone you think would benefit. Thanks, guys.